Michelin has always believed in being a good corporate partner as well as being a very active member of the communities we serve. Michelin has been an active member of Upstate of South Carolina since the early 70s where we opened our first manufacturing facilities. We have over nine facilities throughout the state and almost 10,000 employees. So at Michelin, we aim to live in harmony within the communities where we serve. And we do this by living out our purpose, which is to provide a better way forward for our employees, our customers, and the communities in which we serve. In 2019, I'm happy to say we celebrated our 10-year anniversary of a program we call Michelin Challenge Education. This program is centered around partnering with Title I schools within the communities that we serve, and we do many different things that include mentoring, tutoring, providing support services to those students. Another program that we're proud of is our workforce development program where we look to invest into the talent today and tomorrow for our workforce. And those programs include our internships and our co-ops, as well as two very successful programs. One we call the Michelin Tech Scholars Program, as well as the Michelin Apprenticeship Program where we provide opportunities for individuals in our manufacturing facilities to gain access with our company and start off with a great career. It feels great to work for a company that I know shares many of the values that I personally hold and we do that by using measurable metrics and so we actually record and report the number of volunteer hours that all our employees work with these different programs and we're proud of that and these programs range from as I said working in our community with educational programs, working with our workforce development or working with some of our initiatives with United Way and other charitable organizations. All right, folks, we're moving ahead with our next woman of influence, and it is Tammy Johnson, and she is the founder and CEO of High Spirits Hospitality, and High Spirits Hospitality has been around for quite some time. She founded it in her garage, and now it has grown to the point where she has five different brands and 15,000 square foot of space throughout the Greenville area. Please welcome Tammy Johnson. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thank you for having me. I'm glad you're here. I haven't seen you in a while. Actually, you spoke at uh, an event of ours last year, 10 Women Executives, 10 Mini Keynotes. Yes. And that's when I got to know you a little bit. You did wonderful there, and I'm sure you're going to do wonderful here. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Take your award. Let's get a couple photos. Okay, Tammy has made her way over to the other side of the studio with, with Addie. And Tammy, I got a question for you. Um, well, actually, it's not a question. I need to tell you something. My <laughs> wife wanted me to give you a shout out because right before Mother's Day, the Saturday before Mother's Day, I came down to your place, the Old Cigar Warehouse, to pick up some goodies. And one of the goodies that I picked up was Mom Osa's. Mm -hmm. And they were wonderful. And we sat out on our deck and had Mom Osa's uh, for too long. But they were wonderful, and the <laughs> wife said to tell you, excellent, good job. I'm so glad she enjoyed those. Yes, I actually made those by hand the day before, so. Nice. I crafted them. All right, Addie. All right, well, I want to know, first of all, what's a mom-mosa? So it, for Mother's Day, uh -huh. we had a little, little pun on mimosa, but we did a little champagne kit where um, folks got to buy, purchase a bottle of champagne with some homemade, let's see, what did, we, what did I throw in there? Um, fresh strawberries mm -hmm. from um, Swamp Rabbit Cafe, some fresh ginger, lemon juice OJ, and it was just That kind of really sounds good. perfect. Yes. Very good. Yes. Awesome. It's delicious. Rick mentioned that your company is made up of five different brands. So real quick, give me the rundown. Yes, so Liquid Catering is my first baby, as I like to say. Um, we were founded in 2011. It's a special event bar and beverage catering company. Mm -hmm. So we bartend for weddings, corporate events, anything of that nature. Then I have Old Cigar Warehouse, which is an event venue in downtown Greenville. Um, I have Bravo One Protection, which is kind of um, a little odd, people think. It's a security company. So we provide armed, armed and unarmed security guards to protect people, places, and assets. Sure. Um, but it actually fits in really well with the event niche. I would think it would. Yes, yeah. it's fun. It's, it's a really different, intriguing business for me. Um, I have High Spirits Events, which is an event production company. 
and then Topside Pool Club, which is a super fun rooftop social club. So cool. Above Falls Park in downtown. Yeah, very good. Well, I am mega impressed. It's easy to see why you were selected as a woman of influence for 2020. Congratulations. Thank you. You're very Thank welcome. Thank you for the honor. Absolutely. Rick, we're going to sit it back over to you.